Okay, today's the day. We're off to pick Trudy up. I just got a first glimpse of Trudy. The moment of truth. Two months in a shipping port. Will the legend Trudy start? Nearly two months ago, we dropped Trudy our van off to a shipping port in Los Angeles. And after a quick visit to Turkey to catch up with friends, we jumped on a flight from Istanbul to Tokyo. We've spent the last week staying in a Yokohama hotel waiting for notification that our van has arrived. The good news is the next chapter of our around the world drive is about to begin. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than the ones you did. Mark Twain. Okay, this morning we've had notification from the shipping agent to go to their offices to sort out the paperwork for Trudy's collection. And yesterday we got a photograph sent to us from somebody who very kindly sent a picture of Trudy from the shipping port here in Japan to say, your van is here. <laughs> so we're, we're very excited. Um, it's only about five minutes walk coincidentally from where we're staying to the shipping agent. That's good planning. And good Trudy planning. is literally a couple of miles behind me. So uh, it's all coming together. One thing I have noticed here in Japan is that when you come to a pedestrian crossing, nobody crosses until it goes green. There's no naughty slipping across on a red light over here. I love these little cars. They're like little postman Patmobiles. Very, very square. Another thing I've noticed walking around Tokyo is there is no litter. I haven't seen one bit of litter in the whole place. Oh, look at that, it's a car park. Is that perfect? It's a car park. <laughs> That's mad. They go in, put you in there, and you go up in a lift, up into the car park. And every street corner's got a vending machine, pretty much. It's definitely a thing over here. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure, looking at Google Maps, that it's this office here. I don't know how you, you won't get in there. There's a, <laughs> there's a door with Hello. everything in Japanese. Hello. We realised we were at the wrong door, and the door that we just walked past just opened as we approached. Just walk through the door. Number seven, ISO. Uh, we don't speak Japanese. <laughs> this is the problem. This is the problem. <laughs> if we spoke Japanese, it would all be okay. Seven S, seven F. Company name Murata Logistics. 7F. Okay, now we're trying to match up the writing. Looks like a J. We're just asking the cleaner. Uh, Murata Logistics, Mr. Manasa-san. Oh, they're going to show you. Oh, arigato. Arigato. <laughs> okay, so the, um, the guard that came and helped us isn't sure which which one it is because it's the address we've got in English and this is all in Japanese characters so he's gone to try and find out for us meanwhile Marianne is trying to contact the shipping agent in Okinawa um, just to try and uh, get some clarification it's very confusing when you don't speak the language you just got to go with it Oh, Kazooie-san, my name is, my name is Marianne. I'm Chris-san's wife. How are you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. I think oh, found we found him. Oh, we know? I think we found him. Okay. <laughs> oh, the guys were absolutely amazing. They made us feel so welcome. Um, so yeah, we're coming back on Wednesday, 10 a.m. and they're gonna escort us to customs to get the van and everything, so it's all good. But all the paperwork is legal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they said all the paperwork is sorted, so we're in a good position to get Trudy. Our stuff is another story. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so lovely. So there is this, yeah, there is this parking lot behind the hotel. Oh, maybe that side is, this yeah. one looks reserved. This one looks reserved because they've all That's our hotel. But our hotel has an underground car park, so Trudy won't fit in it. So we're just trying to come up with a plan that when we pick her up in a couple of days, we've got somewhere to put her. Car. 
Okay, what? good old, good old Google Translate. One night. One day, 10, one night. Ten thousand yen. Ten thousand yen. Ten thousand yen. That's sixty pounds. Okay, we just got a phone call from reception. If you remember, when we left um, the US, they wouldn't ship our Jackery power banks. But uh, we've just literally got a phone call to say that there's been a delivery that's just arrived for us. And uh, Jackery UK have very kindly sent us a new power bank. And I think it's downstairs. Because <laughs> we live with these power banks, so it's a massive help. So I'm really excited and I hope that it is the, uh, the Jackery delivery. Oh. That would be amazing. Should be a big box. Thank you. Yes, oh, wow. Jackery. Oh, wow. That's it. That's perfect. Okay. Can we borrow the trolley? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, we were so sad and so worried about our power situation oh, when we, when we, when we left the ship. US. We were so stressed. So a massive thank you to Jackery UK. The only problem is <laughs> our room, our bedroom doesn't have a lot of space. <laughs> oh. That can go at the end of the bed. <laughs> Yay! Good morning. It's our last day staying in the hotel. And uh, tomorrow we pick Trudy up, but there's a couple of things we need to do. Because our stuff isn't arriving for about another week, we don't have any um, of the LPG adapters, so we can't fill um, the gas up with, the, the van up with gas, which means we can't cook. Uh, so we're out to try and find a camping stove, but not only that, all of our bedding is in our personal belonging stuff. So we need to try and find a sleeping bag or a duvet or something cheap and a couple of pillows that we can use for a week because we don't want to stay in a hotel for another week. No, we this is not going to stop adventure. <laughs> and we've only got 90 days in Japan, so we don't want to um, waste, you know, a week or 10 days of it waiting in a hotel. So uh, the adventure will start tomorrow. But first, we've got to go and try and find a few bits. And look how beautiful the sky is today. The sun is shining for us. Somebody's getting a ticket. Oh, I love it, look, the, uh, the police car lights extend. Oh, wow. The architecture, as we said, is very cool. Look at this building. This is where the little cable cars come from the shopping center. Just walking over the bridge here, I don't know whether the camera's gonna pick it up, but if you look down there, there is hundreds of big white jellyfish. Ain't going swimming in there, love. <laughs> shopping center number one. It does say there's quite a few outdoor shops in the shopping center, so fingers crossed. We found a camping shop and were impressed at the variety of cool gadgets they had. But most importantly, we managed to get what we came for. Wow. Okay, camping stove and gas, check. Now we just need to try and find a duvet and a pillow, some cutlery and a coffee mug. So we're trying to find like a home store. Okay, success. <laughs> we managed to get duvets, coffee cups, two pillows, chopsticks, a spoon and fork each, um, and a USB fan because it's really hot. So when we pick Trudy up tomorrow, we're all good to go off on a jolly. And I think the total we spent was probably just over a hundred pounds. So it wasn't too bad at all. No, nope, not too bad. Although we did go for budget everything. Budget everything. Okay, today's the day. We are leaving the hotel to go and pick Trudy up. But first, we need to go and get a luggage trolley because we've got a lot of luggage in our room. Ha! 
how did we end up with so much stuff? I think <laughs> half of it is actually bags. Bags and power banks. Express checkout done. Let's go get Trudy. So we're heading back to the shipping agent's office and at least this time we know where we're going. It's another beautiful sunny day here in uh, Yokohama and the perfect day to pick Trudy up and it's warm. Uh, if you're wondering what the temperatures are like it's mid to high 20s today. So one of the uh, one of the things we're worried about is Trudy has been sat at a shipping port in LA and on the ship for it must be nearly two months now so the yeah. big question is is she gonna start it would be a miracle if she does to be fair because two months is quite a long time um, and there's no solar going to the engine battery so if she doesn't I hope that the uh, the people at the shipping port are probably used to it and might be maybe they have jump leads I'm not sure I have faith <laughs> Okay, we're off to pick Trudy up. We've just learned the word for the day is Ohio means good morning in Japanese. And good evening is... Konbawa is good evening. <laughs> so you can choose any car? No, no, oh yes. One, two, three is we choose. Ah. Oh, so this, these are rental cars. Yes, this time is... Time. Company name. Ah, uh, and then very, very you, you have a, a card, you tap, tap, and you can borrow yes, the car. Yes, yes. Uh, 10 o'clock yes. to uh, 3 p.m. So the first stop we have to go to is to clear customs and make sure all the paperwork is okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we have this amazing gentleman looking after us today. <laughs> I have mixed feelings heading to the shipping port. On the one side, I'm super excited and eager to get exploring Japan. And on the other, I'm nervous about clearing customs. You never quite know what to expect. After all, we've never shipped a van to Japan before and we don't speak the language. But that's why we have Yoshi. He's here to help us. Have you shipped an uh, English car before? No. No? Uh, ne Were you neighbor? This is your first, first one? Yes, yeah, first one. Hmm, I'm sure it will be okay. Okay, stage one done. We've approved, we've cleared customs. The carnet's been stamped. Uh, took just under an hour, but it's all perfect. And now we're going to find Trudy. <laughs> I just got a first glimpse of Trudy. Oh she's parked God. in the parking lot right in front of us. <laughs> yeah. okay. And she's in the sun, which means she'll be fully charged up with electric. Oh my goodness, she's there. How excited are we? Uh, Yoshi, the agent, he's just gone to the office just to get the keys and sort a few more bits out. But she's there, she is here in Tokyo. We would have probably been able to see her from the hotel because our hotel is right over there uh, in those high high rises. Hopefully she starts, Marianne. I can't believe it. I'm just overwhelmed with joy. I think I'm gonna cry. I've missed her so much and the adventure continues. Okay. I uh, will go to uh, Welfare office. Okay. So please, just moment here. Yes, Stay course. here. Okay. okay. We can wait here. We wait. Engine, okay? You check out. Oh, check okay. okay. No, oh, we can start. We can start we the can engine. Go to the van. Yeah. Wait here. Look at but, the uh, uh, no, no move. move. No, no move. move. I'll turn okay. The yes, yes, yes. Working okay. and then turn it yes, yes, yes. Off. Okay. She's looking good. The tires are still shiny. We sprayed these uh, in Mexico with Ricardo. And. Uh, Looking at her, she's looking great. Oh, I forgot to take that out and it's still there. And I forgot to take the radio out and it's still there. MP3? Uh, no MP3. <laughs> Where the radio? No, we lost the MP3 player, but I realised that when I left it in there. And she's still looking pretty tidy. I think she's looking good. 
Yeah, just a few muddy footprints. Because she was immaculate when we dropped her off, if you remember. Huh? She's looking great. Everything's fine. We left the snow chains in the... Couple of bits in the boot. Yeah, still there, snow chains and uh, the jack's still there. Everything's fine. Okay, the moment of truth. Two months in a shipping port. Will the legend Trudy start? <laughs> no way. I love her. <laughs> I, love, love, I was love expecting her. her to just like go dig, 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 dig. No, I knew it. I had the bay. And uh, we better get some fuel because we're Bear almost empty. Fuel. It wasn't long before Yoshi returned with all our required paperwork. We'd cleared customs. What an amazing feeling. He insisted we followed him back over the bridge just to make sure we didn't accidentally go onto the toll road. What a legend. Thank you. Yoshi, thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. 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 It's over. Oh, he's just such a nice guy, Yoshi. And uh, he said to follow him. Look at that. We're going to follow him over the bridge just to make sure we don't get hit by the tolls or anything. And the hotel's only 50, 20, minutes, 20 minutes drive away. Following Yoshi out of the port, I thought to myself, we've actually done it. After years of driving, months of planning, here we are driving our UK camper van in Japan. Yes, let me just say it again, Japan. Dreams really do come true. Are you feeling love? Uh, interesting. I've got really bad mouth flies in my tummy though. <laughs> I feel really... It's a new run. Yeah, it's, I feel like I'm going to get a bit of a driving in Japan. Trees in Japan! <laughs> like That's literally in Japan. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. English camper van rocking around Tokyo. <laughs> I wonder if anybody asks if they if we've got ice cream here. Maybe, maybe. We're in Japan. I just can't get over the fact we're in Japan. Okay, we got uh, one and a half kilometers to the petrol station. First fill up in Japan. This should be fun. Let's just hope the pump has an English option. Regular, premium, diesel. It says diesel on it. Yay. Green. Okay, so first Japanese petrol experience. I have no idea what any of that says. Okay, let me get my glasses on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hold well on. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, please touch here. Yeah. Please touch here. There's no language. Sorry. Help, please. Okay. <laughs> um, diesel. 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 Okay. And um, cash or credit card? card? Card. Okay. Card. Point card? No. 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 Just a moment. Discount. Discount operation. Oh, we get discount. A full, full, full. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh yeah, it's going. It's going. We do. <laughs> Thank goodness the guy was here to help. That's uh, slightly confusing. So we were told that every time we see a bin, we should make use of it. And petrol stations have bins. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the little bit of rubbish that I have. Even the public toilets are immaculate. Look at that, with the control panel. <laughs> How much was it to fill up? To completely fill her up, it was £88.37. So now we're going uh, to the hotel to pick up our stuff, which is only uh, about a mile down this way. Any 
Konnichiwa. 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 Um, pick up luggage. Lugga our luggage. Pick up. Our luggage, pick up. yeah. Okay, let's grab our luggage and get out of the city before rush hour. Marianne showed the staff our luggage QR code and shortly after it arrived. There you go, go so much. <laughs> Love my van. <laughs> I've missed my home on wheels. Okay, so now we're going to drive a couple of hours just to get out of uh, of Tokyo. There's no turning on a red here, Marianne. There's no turning on a red. <laughs> I'm liking that, a designated motorcycle car park. I used to commute to London every day on my motorbike for many, many years, and I wish they had massive car parks like that for motorbikes, because it was always hard to find a spot. Whenever we start a van life adventure in a new country, it always feels so alien. The roads are different, the traffic signals, the signs are different. We don't know where to get water, how to use the petrol station, where we're gonna sleep, what the laws are, the regulations. So it's, it's, it's always takes a few days, if not a week, to sort of get set, settled back into your routine. Yeah. But we're very excited to be here in Japan. But even with all the research we've done, there's so much information oh. that it doesn't really make sense until you've done it. Yeah. So even just trying to find a bin the other day, there aren't any. It's like all these little bits that you learn as you go along, but that is the beauty of travel. We've actually realized that Google is trying to take us down the motorways because we put avoid tolls but not avoid motorways. And the motorways here, which uh, have the green signs, uh, Yoshi this morning said were tolled. So, um, it's added another half an hour onto the journey, but we're going to stick to the small roads. I'm loving Google. It's taking us down all the smallest roads that you can ever imagine. It's like we're avoiding anything bigger than a lane. I think it's one of those where I'm just going to have to look at the map rather than trust Google. Pedestrians have right away, There's, and these crossings aren't in necessarily logical places, are they? No. Like zigzagged all over the road. So we just sat here, and there's obviously a fast food place here. Well, I didn't even know it was fast food but until looking, I saw the pictures. Well, I saw the pictures there, which means that's a fast food place. But looking at those signs, you have no idea what that building is or what it's selling. It's like, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting experience. We're just coming out of the city and uh, we've got our first taste of greenery. Wow. Look, oh, it's looking absolutely beautiful. Bamboo all the way down the side of the road here. Literally the size of trees, bamboo by the side of the road. Okay, first Japanese supermarket experience. Look at all that sushi. <laughs> That's amazing. They've got like all these ready meals, which look really nice. Oh, it looks lovely. But looks good though. It Option for lovely. the future. Right. Because we haven't got any gas, because the adapters are in our packing stuff, we're going to try and buy stuff that is non-refrigerated, or we'll have to go shopping every day and eat it there and then. It's really hard to know what everything is, although that's dog food. <laughs> we're in the pet section. <laughs> 
traffic is. <laughs> None of the labels have any English on them, which, why would they? Looking down the shelves, I realized how hard this was gonna be. I think it's genuinely the hardest shop I've ever done. And what is, what is all this stuff? Well, that was a, an experience. The entire time, Chris walked around <laughs> saying, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that was very unusual for us, as we couldn't understand any of the languages. It's um, interesting, because you're like, I'm happy to buy stuff, you know, and try new stuff, but I had no idea what it is. I think when we've got more time, we need to walk around with Google Translate and... Uh, I left the internet in the van, so <laughs> Google Translate was not... It was a bit of guesswork. But we're good, we're stocked up, and now uh, we're going to find somewhere to sleep for the night. So the complete shot was £48. Really? Which oh. isn't bad, really, I don't think, for what we got. No, I don't think that's bad. We've got about 40 minutes to go, but I'm really, really loving all these little towns and villages that we're driving through. Just so traditional. I know I'm gonna love Japan. There's so many of these little cars, they're like little square postman Patmobiles. Everything's like miniature. I've never seen a country with like mini cars like that before. Everything's like Tonka toys. I suppose the roads are so small. Trudy's quite big here. Trudy's massive here. It's all big look, big here's big a showroom. Daihatsu mini mini cars. <laughs> they're all mini, look. They're all tiny dilly cars. They're like One thing we have spotted quite a few of is coin laundries, which means we're not going to have any trouble washing our clothes while we're here in Japan. Not every day you see Mount Fuji out your windscreen, but there it is right in front of us, towering down on this little town here compared to the height of that. Massive. That is iconic Japan. We've come down to this lake with the most amazing view over Mount Fuji. And uh, looking online, there is a car park coming up. So the sun is going down, so we're hoping uh, we can park here, which would be a very cool first night here in Japan. Here we go. I reckon this is looking pretty good. I reckon it's looking pretty touristy, but I reckon it's looking pretty good. Wow, look at that view. <laughs> They've got toilets, vending machines. So I would just go down in the far corner somewhere. Wow, what a spot. I couldn't believe that we just found a park up with a view of Japan's iconic Mount Fuji. At 3,776 meters, Fujisan, as it's locally known, is Japan's highest peak and is one of Japan's three sacred mountains. Looking at the snow-capped summit, it's hard to believe that it's still an active volcano. But don't worry, it last erupted from 1707 to 1708, so we should be okay tonight. What a start to our adventure in Japan. I have a feeling that the next couple of months are going to be pretty epic.